to be here, Ebony Power 100. First off, before we talk anything else, what does the word power mean to you? Oh, power means to have the option to just be great, to be able to inspire people, to motivate people, to give opportunities to people. That's power. To be out here tonight, to see those people that we don't always see in the forefront being recognized, people that we may not have known that are doing things for this community, what does that mean to you, to be able to be out there with the other honorees? Um, as a presenter tonight, it just means a lot to me to recognize people that don't get recognized every day. You know, there's so many, so much black excellence. And, you know, it's great, you know, I applaud Ebony for just putting this together so we can really see and get to know, like, all of the black people that are doing amazing things. Um, I want to commend you, by the way, on sticking to your guns and doing something for yourself and making the decision to leave something that you've been a part of for so long. Um, I know you've talked about it before, but have you learned a lot about yourself in the last two years with all that's happened? And, and what's been the biggest lesson for you that you've learned since leaving the show? Um, well, I think just, you know, since the pandemic, you know, I learned that, you know, my, my mental wellness is important, uh, my self-worth is important, my, my health is important. You know, all of the things that I took for granted before, you know, I don't take those things for granted anymore. And in terms of just leaving the show, you know, when I started this show over a decade ago, you know, I was, it was like a new adventure for me. It was a new chapter and it was fun and it was exciting. And after 11 years of being on the show, I'm just ready to do some other things. I, I had a great, I have incredible memories. Uh, I've done things that I can't believe I've done on the show. <laughs> some I'm proud of and some not so much. But, you know, the journey has been amazing. It has been amazing and life changing. Is there one itty bitty thing that you miss about filming it at all? Not yet. <laughs> it's only been, I think they've only been filming a week. So, so far I'm still good. <laughs> Get back to me on that one. You know what, I'm still processing everything. It's Honestly, I don't think it's gonna hit me until the show comes on and I'm not there. Right now, you know, I'm, you know, I'm busy doing, working on so many other projects. I have the Ultimate Girls trip coming up November 18th. So I'm still hanging out with a bunch of housewives. So it's, I left one show to do another show with a bunch of house, a bunch of other housewives from different franchises. So, you know, it's just, I'm continuing the journey just in different you know on different platforms right. I know you're gonna go in there is this what our date night looks like because you guys look good every time I see you is this how it is every date night oh, well, we plan it pretty well yeah. I mean you know I hope I mean this is all great but hopefully by the end of it you know we'll you know we'll have you know, sex later on <laughs> That's gonna I mean, happen for sure. I didn't do all this to not get laid. You see how she looks, I did right. not do all this to not get laid. So I know that's gonna get cut out. <laughs> Are you sweating? He's instantly sweating. Cut that out. Leave no, that in. That's I'm looking forward to it though. I, in the event forward. right now. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm sending all the positive vibes. It better happen, you guys. It better happen. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Thank you.